Australia is home to over 200 species of snakes, and more than half of them are venomous. But even among this gallery of toxic reptiles, only a handful stand out as the deadliest of them all. My name is Spencer Hoffman, and I'm a biologist and filmmaker from North Carolina. In my mission to uncover the deadliest secrets of the natural world, I've come all the way to Australia to track down their most dangerous snakes. These are five of the most venomous snakes in all of Australia. Stretching from the heavily populated coasts of New South Wales and Queensland to the far reaches of the outback, the black snakes are among the most common snakes in all of Australia and the most dangerous. These snakes get their name because they're basically just that. They're large black snakes. One of the most common venomous snakes you can encounter in all of Australia is the red-bellied black snake, which again is exactly what it sounds like, a large black snake with a bright red belly. The only one that looks a little bit different is the mulga, which is a light tan or brown snake and looks a lot more like a completely different group of venomous snakes in Australia. But it's likely as light colored as it is due to the extremely hot, arid environments that it lives in. For the most part, these snakes are extremely generalistic in their habitat. They are found throughout the entirety of Australia, but do tend to be a bit more common closer to water. And that's because these guys are hunting fish, frogs, and other reptiles. In the case of the mulga, or the king brown, they're actually eating other snakes. The mulga is one of the largest venomous snakes in all of Australia, and it actually has a really high tolerance to the venom of many of the other venomous species in the country making it a force to be reckoned with. All of the black snakes are extremely venomous, but for the most part, they're fairly reluctant to bite. If they don't disappear into the habitat when you approach them, they do this really cool thing where they flatten out their neck and sort of sway side to side to make themselves look bigger and get you to leave them alone. It actually looks kind of like how a cobra would hood up. And that makes sense because the black snakes and just about all of the other venomous species here in Australia are in the same family as the cobra, the elapidae. The elapids are these large, active hunting snakes and many of them are armed with some of the most potent venoms in the entire world. Because many elapids are eating reptiles instead of mammals, they tend to opt for a venom that attacks the central nervous system, a neurotoxin, and many of them are extremely toxic. Among large Australian elapids, the black snakes are kind of on the low end. They're a pretty bad bite, and any one of them could potentially kill you. But compared to some of the heavy hitters that we're going to see in this video, black snakes aren't too bad. If you're bitten by one of these guys, it can be extremely, extremely painful. Their venom has those neurotoxic components that attack your nervous system, paralyzing you. But they also have components that attack your muscles and your cells, which means a bite from a black snake is going to swell up, it's going to be throbbing, and it's going to really hurt like you wouldn't believe. Fortunately, these are one of the least aggressive snakes in the country and are usually more timid than anything else. Scattered throughout the continent, a smaller, stockier snake lurks in the undergrowth of coastal woodlands and inland gorges. One of the strangest snakes in Australia, the Death Adders, are armed with one of the country's most potent venoms. Almost never leaving the shelter of the vegetation, you can sometimes come across these odd little elapids crossing the road as the sun goes down in good habitat. That's like con mouth size. Yeah, Look at that thing. Holy. The death adder is unlike anything else in Australia. They look almost more like the vipers I have back home in the US. These thick bodied kind of short stumpy snakes. And what's crazy is this is actually an example of convergent evolution. When two completely different lineages create very similar looking animals. In the ocean we see it with dolphins and sharks. Dolphins are mammals, they're not fish at all, but to the untrained eye from a distance, you could see one of their dorsal fins sticking out of the water and think you're looking at a shark. Walking sticks and praying mantises both use stick-like appearance and camouflage to survive, but have totally different lifestyles and come from completely different lines of the evolutionary tree. The death adder is no exception. It looks just like a viper, but among snakes, it couldn't be less related to them. But this is a great example of what I always say. The appearances we see in animals can give us clues to their biology. Because this snake looks so much like a viper, we can actually guess that it'll act like a viper. And sure enough, it does. Unlike all of the other elapids, which are large, active hunters, super athletic, 
The Death Adder is a sit-and-wait hunter, using that camouflage to sit in vegetation for hours, sometimes even days on end, waiting for little mammals to walk by. They use their funny-looking tail to actually lure small mammals and reptiles in, thinking it's a worm or a grub, just like juvenile vipers do in other parts of the world. These snakes are so patient and rely so heavily on their camouflage that the first people to describe them called them a death adder. Because when they approached the snake, it wouldn't move. They thought that it was death, it couldn't hear them coming. Where the name death came from, we're not 100% sure, but death adder is still pretty accurate to the snake. It has one of the most potent venoms in the entire world. And to put it in context for my American viewers, these guys are six times as toxic as most rattlesnake species. Armed with a potent neurotoxin, the Death Adder has the fastest strike of any snake on the planet and can bite you multiple times before you can even blink. Despite their name, the Death Adder is actually responsible for very few confirmed deaths. As we climb this list though, the snakes start to get much, much gnarlier. And in the coastal wetlands of Eastern Australia lurks one of the most lethal snakes, not just in this country, but in the entire world. The Tiger Snake is a large, robust snake with a blunt head and the iconic striped pattern where it gets its name. These are fast and athletic active hunters and probably one of the most dangerous snakes in all of Australia. These are the snakes that are why people tell you to wear jeans when you're walking in the grass in many parts of southeastern Australia. They're kind of like the Australian version of the cottonmouth. They love hiding in thickets of vegetation right alongside water where they're hunting for fish and frogs. But just because their prey is so small and kind of inoffensive, doesn't mean we can take these snakes lightly. The tiger snake is one of the most venomous snakes in the entire world, with a venom 20 times as potent as that of a rattlesnake. And it has a beautiful little mix of delightfully toxic chemicals. It's neurotoxic, so if you're bitten by one of these snakes, you will be in serious danger of going into respiratory failure. But as an extra bonus, the tiger snake makes you have to choose. The tiger snake doesn't just have neurotoxins, it's much worse than that. The tiger snake is armed with cytotoxins and myotoxins, things that attack your cells and your muscles, causing horrendous swelling, immense pain, and sometimes even necrosis. So when you're bitten by the snake, you get to choose. Do you want to go into respiratory failure or do you want to risk losing a limb? This is a very, very gnarly bite to take. Before antivenom, the tiger snake was the number one killer among Australian snake bites. They might not be as charismatic as a cobra, as bright colored as a coral snake, or as loud and flamboyant as a rattlesnake, but the tiger snake is absolutely no joke. We can kind of think of them as almost a meaner version of the black snakes. They're not outright aggressive. Their first instinct is to escape when approached by a human, but these guys will stand their ground. Just like the black snakes, they'll flatten out that neck and kind of sway side to side to make themselves look bigger and more threatening but they'll also do little bluff charges at you, sometimes with their mouth open. And if you don't get out of their way, they might, they might be inclined to give you a bite. These snakes aren't stupid though. They know that even if they're able to bite us, we are much larger than they are. And for most tiger snakes, the risk of being stomped to death is usually not worth any kind of confrontation. So they're venomous, they're very dangerous, but typically they just wanna be left alone. If we respect them and give them their space, they're really not something we have to be afraid of. For the more common and more dangerous species, Australian snake catchers help keep both people and snakes safe by relocating these reptiles when they pop up in people's yards. While staying in Sydney, my team and I had the opportunity to join on a relocation of one of the most infamous snakes in all of Australia, the Eastern Brown. The incredible thing about the Eastern Brown is it's actually a true habitat generalist. This is the only snake in all of Australia that has seen its range increase as human development has spread throughout the country. They do really, really well alongside people, which is especially, especially concerning considering how dangerous of a snake this actually is. These are slender, unassuming brown snakes. They look pretty much like nothing special at all, but they get their scientific name from the mesh-like pattern in between their scales. Uh, though if you're close enough to see that, you might, you might be in trouble. The Eastern Brown Snake is one of the most defensive snakes in all of Australia and potentially even all of the world. Typically these snakes just wanna get out of Dodge if you come into their habitat. 
They're one of the fastest snakes in Australia. And typically we see that speed because they are escaping from us. They're not gonna chase us full speed or try to like intentionally kill us or anything. They do stand their ground pretty readily when cornered. They S up into that really iconic pose and they will strike over and over and over again, doing these crazy charges towards you. When you're in the field with one of these snakes, it actually does feel like it's chasing you. People like to believe these are murderous monsters because working with an Eastern Brown can be so scary. And when you're scared, it's sometimes easier to blame the snake for being scary than just admit that you were scared. But the thing is, all you have to do to escape a bite is to step out of the snake's way. If the snake has an escape route where it feels like it can get to safety, it's not gonna continue striking at you and charging. It's gonna flee in the direction of that safety. But with the Eastern Brown Snake, I do have to admit that I, I, I understand a lot of the fear because these guys are the number one killer of Australians when it comes to snake bites. They have the second most potent venom of any snake in the entire world. And the way it works is actually quite scary. Unique among the Australian Alapids, the Eastern Brown Snake is actually not very neurotoxic at all. It's not attacking your central nervous system. It's attacking your blood and your heart. The cardiotoxic venom of the Eastern Brown Snake basically causes you to bleed out within yourself. And the way it kills you is through cardiac arrest, basically stopping your heart or causing you to stroke out as your blood just oozes out of the blood vessels inside of your brain. It's not a, not a pretty picture. The Eastern Brown Snake is definitely one of the scariest snakes that I personally have ever worked with, but it's still not the king of Australian venomous snakes. If this were just the ranking of human kill counts, we would stop at the Eastern Brown Snake. But many miles from civilization lies another snake, one far more potent than the common brown snakes, spending 90% of its life hidden in the dirt cracks of Australia's remotest deserts is the snake with the most toxic venom on earth, the inland taipan. The inland taipan is one of the rarest reptiles in the entire country. But it's not the only taipan that exists here. You have the coastal taipan and the central ranges taipan, which live in the coastal cane fields and the sandy deserts of the outback. The taipans are honestly kind of surprising. They're pretty much just drab brown snakes. Like the eastern brown, they don't look like much at all. The inland taipan is most known for that olive brown gradient they have and that golden yellow belly, but they actually have a seasonal color change. In the winter, they can get dark, almost black, because they need to absorb as much heat as possible. And in the brutally hot summers, they're almost golden because they need to reflect as much of that sunlight as possible to retain their body temperature. But because they don't have any crazy bright colors or patterning, it's really easy to overlook them. But you do that at your own risk because these guys have the most potent venoms of any snake in the entire world. The inland taipan is 100 times as toxic as most rattlesnakes are. And it's a potent, potent neurotoxin. A bite from a single snake contains enough venom to kill 100 grown adult humans. The words medical emergency don't quite put into context how bad an inland taipan bite could be, especially if you get bitten out in the outback. Hours from anything, you're bitten by that snake, you're pretty much just done. There, there's not much you can do about it. Fortunately though, taipans are actually not aggressive. For the most part, these are shy, secretive snakes that really don't ever see people. The most likely thing that'll happen if you see an inland taipan in the wild is it'll just slither right back down a crack. But because these are intelligent, active hunting elapids, Sometimes they can actually be curious. In many cases, it doesn't seem like they really mind people being around them too much, as long as the people aren't making any noise or actively trying to catch the snake, which makes for really special encounters where you can basically just sit there and watch the snake go from crack to crack, slithering through that crazy matrix of tunnels, looking for the mammals that it hunts. Bites from inland taipans are extraordinarily rare, and we actually don't have many records at all of them biting people in the wild. All the bites that we usually hear about happen in captivity, and even then, and to this day, we have no record of anyone being killed by an inland taipan. It's remarkable. It's the most venomous snake in the world, but it really isn't that big of a threat to people. On the deadliest continent on Earth, the snakes are no joke. 
But even the deadliest of Australia's elapids aren't rearing at the opportunity to bite people. Eastern brown snakes, tiger snakes, and taipans are much quicker to disappear into the safety of their habitat than they are to stand and fight. They may have some of the gnarliest venoms in the world, but that venom is a tool for killing and eating their prey. We aren't food for them, so if we keep our distance and respect these magnificent animals, we have no need to ever fear them. Getting up close and personal with these snakes is an absolute dream come true as an American whose imagination has long been captured by the strange and deadly creatures of our planet, and it's something I'll never forget. But despite the formidable reputation of Australian snakes, they aren't the only man-killers in the world. In fact, Back home in the Western Hemisphere, we have some highly venomous snakes of our own, including one considered so dangerous in its home range that locals say even just seeing one has the chance to be a death sentence. If you want to learn more about that incredible snake and discover its true nature, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.